Hi guys, Barnaby for Spurred On. Uh, obviously it's the North London Derby on Saturday and I'm here for another episode of A View From The Other Side. Today we have Poet with us, Poet from Filthy Fellas and Copper 90 of course. Poet, how are you? I'm just stressed man, like really stressed out. Do you know what I mean? I feel like I've, my girlfriend's broke out of me, she stole the goldfish and my mum and dad are considering divorce and I've just got fired. That is how I feel. We are filming this on Thursday morning, uh, the, night after, uh, the morning after the night before Arsenal lost at home to Swansea 2-1. Spurs also lost but I, I don't feel quite as negative as you do so let's get on with it. You know, so, you know, is it as bad as that really? What, what went wrong last night you know, to start with? Well, I got loads of messages this morning on Twitter and stuff saying I kept saying the word bullshit and there's a reason why. I do my job. I spent about eight grand this season on Arsenal. When are you taking travel, all of that nonsense. I spent about eight grand. Yeah. As a fan, I do my job. Them players don't do their job. Yeah. And they don't have no passion. They don't have no desire. They genuinely, from the bottom of their hearts, don't care. And I'm pissed off. I've genuinely had enough. And mm. it comes down to one person. You're in this work field right here. If you don't feel like, I don't know, filming this views from the other side and then your gaffer comes up to you, the boss, and he gives you a little bit of a talk, you might feel inspired to do it. Yeah. Who is giving them boys a talk to show them a bit of inspiration? Why are Leicester City and Spurs up for a title challenge more than Arsenal? It doesn't make sense to me. You've got people that won the World Cup in there, the Euro, it just, I just don't get it. Yeah. I'm so confused. Yeah. I don't understand why they like, don't want to be winners, but it's a mentality, I'm so disappointed. And Wenger, he's got to sort it out. He's the boss, he's got to sort it out. And when you, when, you look at, you know, when you look at Spurs at the moment and we've got Maurizio Pochettino who we have a, lo a lot of love for and he seems to have developed this team ethic, yeah. is that something that makes you feel jealous? You want someone in there who's going to do something similar? I'm not jealous, I'm not really a jealous type, but I knew Pochettino was going to do a good job at Spurs. I said to Mitch in August, you're going to have a very good season, you're definitely getting Champions League. Yeah. And he wasn't too sure, because you lost on the opening day to Manchester United. But I said, mate, just watching the way you played, Spurs are going to have a great season. Did I think it was going to be this good? Not at all, you're going to win the league. <laughs> I originally are from Tottenham, so when I go to see like, my uncle or something like that, I'm going to be walking in an area knowing that they've got a Premier League. I think the question is, if you come from Tottenham, why don't you support Tottenham? Well, well, there's loads of reasons. The riots were bloody awful. Um, <laughs> the people in the area are not particularly nice. OK, I'm not having that. I'm not having that. I'm not having that on my channel. We're going we're gonna to move on from that one. Uh, so this might be a hard question to ask you, but obviously we're Spurs channel. It's a view mm. from the other side. How, you know, you said, uh, you saw at the beginning of the season, you knew we were going to have a good season. Yeah. What is it about Spurs then to you that means we've, we've moved on to this, you know, potential title challenge? Because they, they, they care. They genuinely care and there's something about Spurs to Mitch which is really incredible I don't know who's going to score yeah last season I was like it's all Harry Kane this season you've got Danny Rose coming off the bench getting winners you've got Ericsson getting the winner against Man City they can get goals literally yeah. from anywhere they can win 4-0 at four different goal scorers and it's not weird to me Arsenal that problem is if Drew don't score which he never scores he's scored in 10 games now or Sanchez you're just trying to find a goal scorer and that's a problem when you've got a team that are together unified genuinely want one goal, common goal, and all of them are up for the fight. Bruv, they score, run straight to the fans, and they're like, yeah. boys, we're yeah. going to do this. We score, and everyone's moving around because of the L'Oreal advert. Like, do you what know what? Honestly, I saw Bullets, at Man, Man United, when you, went, when you got the second one back to go 3-2, uh, you were from 3-1 to 3-2, I thought, you know, there'll be some kind of huge you know, lift or whatever. Ozil literally went like this. And then kind of walk no, back. But when, Spurs, when Spurs equalised against yeah. Swansea, they all just rushed to the halfway line, put the ball on the spot, straight back. It didn't look like you had any desire to go and get that equaliser. Listen, Ozil has had enough. And I don't blame him. Because when he plays for Germany, he's got the likes of Michael Royce there. He's got Philip Lahm. He's got all these incredible players. Yeah. At Real Madrid, when he looks forward, he saw Cristiano Ronaldo, Benzema. He looks forward and sees this awful man called Olivier Giroud and then to the right you might see this mo Theo Walker yeah like, he's the most overrated mixed race boy since Obama and it's on the right hand side and then if he comes off you've got Chamberlain Ooh, potential for like four years I'm sick and tired I've had enough I just want winners and Spurs to me look like they've got desire they look like winners yeah. they've got kids they're all in this fight together Together, Ertzel just had enough. I don't blame him. He he showed the most against Manchester United. He was playing left back, centre back. Arsenal, I just I support Meza Ozil and Colin Kazim Richards. After that, I can't be Arsenal no more. I genuinely bad enough, mate. I think we caught you on the right day, poet. Um, you you know, you talk about the team at Spurs. Are there any individuals who you'd have in your Arsenal team at Spurs who's impressed you this season? From Spurs? Yeah, yeah. 
I'll definitely have um, the boy next to the Tonglin. I don't know how you pronounce his name. Toby all the virals, yeah. He's incredible. Yeah. Absolutely incredible. Like he's just a beast. Do you know what I mean? He's a, he's a, a traditional centre back, but at the same time he's got he the reads, elegance and he class. He reads the game incredibly. Yeah. And Unlike any centre back I've seen at Spurs for, since Ledley, definitely. And I think he's just. And when people are here, talk, people talking about Stones and all of these other overrated English players like we like to do in this country, I just say to them, just watch the Spurs centre back pairing. If it's not as good as that, why are we even bothering talking about? Centre? I don't want to hear about Stones. Koscielny's good, but Gabriel's too rash. Merce, like you look at Tolby, you think that is how you want your centre back to play. Yeah. Loads of passion, reads the game well, leadership from the back as well. Yeah. I didn't realise Tottenham had so many leaders. They got Lloris, who seems like a leader. He likes to scream and shout. You got Jan, that's a leader. You got Tolby, that's a leader. Yeah. And that's through their core spine. Yeah. Eric Dyer likes to give. Deli Ali gets it. I'm impressed with Spurs, and I said it as well. I think hard, you're going to miss their belly. Say, hard to say? No, I'm an honest man. Scrap yeah. it. I'm, like, Arsenal don't care. I don't see why I should care. Fair enough, I've spent about eight grand. Oh, with eight grand, I could have taken the missus away. I could have bought, you know, I could have taken us shopping. Yeah, Do you know what nice. I mean? I could have invested in the channel. I could knows. be wearing what you're wearing. Mate, it's not that incredible. I've got this for like 20 pound. <laughs> These, uh, F2 gave it to me, God bless them. <laughs> These trainers were 300 pound, but I could have got you the trainers. Yeah, you mentioned um, in there, uh, Koscielny's needs a good player. Obviously he's out, checks out. To you, does that put, you know, you, you, does that put the nail in the coffin for Saturday? You're, you're a lot Come less, on. obviously I, I find it hard to be confident going into a game, but you seem so lacking in any belief that you can I get a result. I have none. I have none. I feel like a Christian who's bad that God's not real. I just have no belief whatsoever. Check, not in goal. Now we've got a guy that likes to play dodgeball. He's worse than Mignolet. And we've got Ospina in goal. And on top of that, we've got no Koscielny. So I'm relying on Gabriel, who doesn't speak English, next to Per Mertesacker, who's about as mobile as a house phone. Yeah. So why am I going to think that we're going to do anything when you've got Kane that's going to be on the left, the right, everywhere? I'm just praying that Bellerin and Monreal have a good game. Because they have a good game, hopefully it can install some confidence in that back line. Because sure. I genuinely, that, when you look at, you're going to have who? Toby? We have Toby and Kevin Vimmer with Carl Walker and Danny Rose and then Eric Dyer in front. But look at the triangle you're going to have. You're going to have Toby, Wimmer and Lloris. We've got Per Mertesacker, Ospina and Bloody Gabriel. <laughs> and we want to win the league. What yeah. is this? The championship? This is, it's just a joke. I just, yeah. I've genuinely had enough. You mentioned the league there. So how do you, th you know, maybe a little bit of take Arsenal away from it a little bit because I know you don't think you're going to win the league but who, if, not. if not you, who do you think? Because I've been saying all season I think whoever finishes above Arsenal will win this league but you know, it's where do you see there. it finishing now? How do, how do you think it'll go? Well, at the start, I said Man City. Um, I thought after that Carling Cup victory that it might install yeah, some I confidence in the did. boys and they'll go out, get a, a hard victory against Liverpool. But as much as it hurts, it doesn't even hurt me to say no more. I'm over the pain, mate. Do you know what I mean? Like, Spurs are going to win the league. Leicester City are going to bottle it because they're going to come against some, like you saw last night, I said to you, they're going to draw. And, um, I thought you lot were going to get a point yeah, as well. Yeah, I did, yeah. But West Ham, are, you know, it's, it's no... It was their cup final last night. West Ham played unbelievably, I have to say. Mate, there's, no, were... there's no shame in losing no. to West Ham away from home. No yeah. shame whatsoever, especially in the London derby. Yeah. But from now on, I just think you're, going to, I think you're going to beat Dortmund. That's going to install more confidence in you lot. And I think that you're going to definitely turn over Arsenal 4-0 on Saturday. It's going to... <laughs> bruv! Am I, allowed to, am I allowed to say that you may have actually put some money on a 4-0 Spurs victory? Yeah, I did. And if any Arsenal fans got anything to say, I don't give a shit. I, I do my job as a fan. Half of you like, I ain't got a season ticket. I've been to more games than people that got season tickets. Yeah. I go away from home. I've got every single jersey from now until bloody 1996. So don't tell me nothing about not doing my job as a fan, mate. I've had enough. Enough. Poet, mate, thank you so much for coming. Bless I hope, you. I hope you don't get a result, but also... You know, I want your mood to improve. But uh, sure. guys, let us know what you thought of a view from the other side in the comment section below. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel on YouTube. Follow us on Twitter at Spurred on TV, and go and check out Filthy Fellas and Copper Ninety, where Poet yeah. does some brilliant work with his Liverpool mate Vuj, who is a crazy cat, isn't he? He has. He's a couple of nuggets short of a happy meal. He love definitely him. is, guys. Uh, come on, you Spurs. Welcome to another match preview, and this time we have Arsenal at White Hart Lane. In the Premier League. Now guys,